so blessed to be to be able to say that and to and to know you know God's mercy and to have such a love like we do for our blessed mother and there's you know and again there's so much confusion out there and I even see a comment which is so true it says you know I may not believe the same thing but I do believe something is coming and so I think that's what's what's really nice for you and I to see although we're so deeply rooted we see this stirring amongst millions you know just amongst the masses everybody feels that we're we're at the at the end of these times it is it's yeah. it's like everything's collapsing around us and we always feel like we're holding our breath what more can this world take um and so i feel everybody's on pins and needles no matter what they believe they know something is brewing something's coming and um i'm really fortunate to have the knowledge that we do and and I'm so, you know, your group, it's it's amazing. Again, just under 50,000 people, you know, there's constantly, and I do, I see it for myself. I see people challenging you. I see people calling you out, trying to, to discredit something and the proof and the facts are always there. And um, so I am. So I'm gonna link your group in the comments. Um, and I know there's, again, there's so much to cover, but the, the one last thing, that um, I know a lot of people, you know, from different beliefs have touched on. They know there's talks about um, the three days of darkness or coming chastisements and a tribulation period. And so if you maybe that would be the last thing you want to touch on, Glenn, um, without going too, too much into it. What do you want to say about that? OK. Um I would like to start with, um, first of all, this is not the end of the world. Uh, some people are somewhat confused of the terminologies that we used in Garabandel. And the exact translation was, there's going to be a period that they're calling the end of the times, meaning an era is ending and another one is starting. And that new era is going to be the era, you know, after the, the warning and the miracle. Um, now, this, this tribulation period that we're talking about, I even have a, a fair idea of when that's going to start. And the reason is the Blessed Mother gave us three indications um, when the warning was going to actually happen. And one of the indications was there would be a church synod, which we just had one last year. Um, and there's another one, I think, coming in uh, 2022. Um, but we already had one last year. So that that's one that you can check off the list. The second thing she said, when communism comes again, well, look around, watch TV. It, it, it doesn't take a genius to see what's happened, especially in a country like America, where you thought it was uh, impossible. But these ideas of socialism and communism are, are have seeped back into, uh, you know, our daily lives. So it's coming like a snowball and it's going to get worse. And the third sign she said was that the Pope, she didn't say which Pope, she just said the Pope would visit Moscow. And when he returned from that trip, then there would be hostilities breaking out in the world uh, and starting in Europe. And it's going to get to a point, it's going to like, like a pot boiling. It's going to get to such a bad point then God will step in just before it gets too bad. And then he's going to bring the warning. So everything will stop. People will see their sins. And then, like we said, several months after that, the miracle to confirm it. Now, what happens is the third event that Mary talked about is called the conditional chastisement. That was the terminology used in Garabandel. Uh, other visionaries throughout history have called it the three days of darkness. Uh, I believe that they are the same event. Uh, and the reason I say that with some confidence is Conchita gave us a description. And she said it would be like being enveloped from above and below with fire. So that's pretty descriptive. And... Uh, one of the first descriptions of the three days of darkness that was given from another visionary, uh, Blessed uh, Anna Marie uh, Tiagi, 
was the same description of basically being engulfed in fire. And, and other visionaries have also described this, this period as, uh, as, as pretty much hell on earth and has to do with fire. So I, I feel that the events are the same with just at Garabandel, it was called the conditional chastisement. Now, the great thing is Mary uses the word conditional and people sometimes forget this. So God will judge whether this punishment will come depending on how we react to the warning and miracle. Are people repentant? Do they stay repentant? Um, do they turn back to God in, in great numbers? Or, or do we unfortunately have like a New Year's resolution where everybody starts out uh, so convicted and then starts to fall away again back to their old habits, which is my, my greatest fear really. Um, so this, this chastisement is not guaranteed. It is conditional, but it really can, it's on the condition of the worldwide response to the warning and miracle. 